welcome back to my channel and today I have another fall DIY for you. Um, this time we're going to paint pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to crackle one and then I'm going to paint the other one. So let me show you what you'll need to make the project. You're going to need these dollar store pumpkins that are carvable and they're really cute like this. Matter of fact, I have another one in a, a display that when I do my fall home tour I'll show you but I liked it orange, but I wanted to do some others that weren't. So you'll need two of these. Then to crackle, you're gonna need some Elmer's glue, and you're gonna need some type of paint. I'm gonna use the Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Toasted Marshmallow. Right there. And then I'm gonna use the Folk Art Metallic Chocolate Brown. And that's to crackle, but you can use any color paint that you want. And then when I paint the other one, I'm going to use the Waverly Chalk in plaster, the paint. And then I'm going to use, to brush over that, either the Folk Art um, Metal, uh, Royal Gold or the Antique Gold from Folk Art. And I may use them both. So, and then you're going to need um, some foam brushes and a regular brush. And then to crackle, I'm going to use a large brush, foam brush, and a smaller brush. So first of all, what you want to do is get you two paper plates, one for the paint and one for the glue. Now I'm going to put down this aluminum foil on my counter. I always use it. It does not slide. It doesn't bother me. And I like it. And I can reuse it. So. Okay, what we're going to do is pour out some glue. And then all you have to do is just start painting with the glue. And you want it, you don't want it really thick because it has to dry, but you don't want it real, real runny either. So, just, and the crackle will go depending on your brush strokes. So, I'm going, I want all my brush strokes going down, so that's what I'm going to do. And you can do, um, you can do the whole thing at once. You don't have to um, stop and do some of it. Because you want to apply your paint once this gets a little tacky. So as soon as I get this paint all over, I mean this glue all over, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I have my glue all over um, the pumpkin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it with this dark chocolate brown and then I'm going to put well, no, I think what I'm going to do is put this toasted marshmallow all over this. No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the chocolate brown all over. Metallic chocolate brown. And I'm going to paint my stem so it's not going to matter. About it getting up on the stem. But I want this pumpkin to look really, really old. And you don't, I mean, as long as you just go in the same direction that you want your crackles to go, you're in good shape. And as it dries, it will start crackling. And a matter of fact, I think I like this orange peeking through a little bit. So I may not even do my original plan and put anything over this. 
I was going to put the uh, toasted marshmallow over it, but now I don't know because I really do like this. It's funny how when you start crafting sometimes you're like, oh, I like that. I'm not going to mess with it. It just has sort of a mottled effect. And just remember the more paint and glue you put on, the longer it will take to dry. But I may go ahead and put that white over it too. This is kind of a messy procedure, but I think it will be really well worth our effort. When we get through. Okay, right now, this is what we have. So I'm going to let this dry. And when it dries, I'll be back and show you what it looks like. And we'll probably go ahead and put the other coat on. But I don't know if I can, it's so wet, I don't think I can lift it up. But it's really cute, it gives it a really cute effect. I probably should have done the stem last, and then I could have lifted it up by the stem. But I'll show you. It really is looking cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'll be back when this gets dry and we'll go from there. I'll be back. Okay guys, while this one is drying, I thought I'd hop back on and paint this one. Um, what you need to do is get you another paper plate because this is all gonna be really messy. I'm gonna paint this one with the toasted marshmallow. I was gonna use my Waverly uh, plaster chalk, but I can't get it open. <laughs> And my husband's out of town, so. But I think this will be really pretty. All right, so we're just gonna paint this. And all you do is just go around and paint it with the color of your choice until you can't see any of the orange showing through, like this. You just keep painting it until you can't see any orange. And I'll be back for time purposes as soon as I get this on there. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see, this is done uh, with this first coat. And I really kind of like that little hint of orange peeking through. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I mean, you could keep going until you had it completely covered, but I like it. So when this dries, I'm going to come back and dry brush some antique gold or royal gold on top of it. So while these two are drying, I'm going to take a small break and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and this one has dried and I think it's absolutely adorable. I love how it turned out. It's so cute. And I went ahead and just put a little bit of the toasted marshmallow on the stem um, over top of that um, chocolate brown, metallic chocolate brown. And I think it looks, it looks so much better than just the uh, Dollar Tree pumpkin. It really looks nice. And here's the one that I painted with the toasted marshmallow all over. So now what we're going to do is just dry brush it with some, a little bit, I think, of this royal gold. Basically just do it until you're happy with whatever colors that you like. There isn't a wrong or a right way to do any of this. So let's just see what we have here and just Take it down and kind of like highlight it. And that really doesn't show up that much. So, let's see. Of course, maybe I'm not putting enough on it too. 
All right, let's just see what this will do. I'll go back to my royal gold. Oh, that's what it was. I wasn't putting enough on. See how pretty? Oh, love it. You just bring it up and kind of like hit it where it might be like little highlights. Or like wherever you want it, really. It doesn't really have to be the highlights because the highlights would really be on the top. Just wherever you like it. Because really the highlights would be on this, this part sticking up. But, oh, I love it. So pretty. So you can totally make the pumpkin to match your decor like you want it. Definitely looks sort of farmhouse, I think. And with my Tuscan decor, farmhouse fits in quite nicely with it, I think. And you could definitely, but that's what we're getting so far. I think it's gorgeous. I always use a lot of the royal gold, it seems like. But I really do love that collar, so I guess that's why I do it so much. It has that warmth to it. But it just adds, it looks like a really expensive pumpkin, but you'd pay a lot more if you went to Hobby Lobby. You would even pay, if you went to Walmart, you'd pay at least about $5, which is not bad for a pumpkin. But I just really think this is pretty. I love things that look old. And just keep putting it on till you like it, but I think it is gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. So now I need to do something to that stem. So let's just see. I think I'll hit it with some of this um, royal gold. And it takes a good bit to cover up that um, green. And I have a little bit of that toasted marshmallow that it's blending with. I want to definitely soften that green. I don't want it to be all green, but you could even put glitter on it on these pumpkins if you wanted. You could do so much. I mean, if you can't find what you want, make it. Then you always have exactly what you want. And you don't have to worry about it. But that is what we're getting, and I really love the different colors of the light and the dark. I think it's adorable. I really do. And then here's this one, which is beautiful as well. So let me move this all over and let you look at our creations. I really love how they turned out. You would never know that those are dollar store pumpkins that have been painted. They're really pretty. And like I said, if you wanted more, uh, you could do these blue. If you, They have so many pretty blue pumpkins these days. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.